Welcome to the installation video of the Ares AeroTread running boards on a 2013 Nissan Pathfinder. These running boards are available in a black or stainless steel finish. During this installation, we will be using a lift. However, the use of a lift is not required. These are the tools needed to complete the installation. Starting on the driver's side, locate the two mounting locations along the body. Sort out and separate the brackets as they are specific to each mounting location. Use the print instructions to make sure you have properly identified the brackets. Starting at the front, remove the factory plug covering the mounting hole and insert an 80mm tab T-bolt. Secure in place with a plastic retainer. Locate the second mounting hole. Insert an 80mm tab T-bolt with plastic retainer here as well. Place the front driver's side bracket onto the vehicle and secure with an 8mm flat washer, lock washer, and hex nut. Snug all the hardware down as you install the brackets, but do not fully tighten to allow for adjustments. Place the support arm bracket onto the vehicle and secure with an 8mm flat washer, lock washer, and hex nut here as well. Attach the support arm bracket to the driver's side front mounting bracket using an 8mm flat washer and hex bolt through one side, and an 8mm flat washer, lock washer, and hex nut on the other side. Locate two mounting holes on the rocker panel. Insert an 80mm tab T-bolt into each with a plastic bolt retainer. Attach one side of the brace bracket to the vehicle using an 8mm flat washer, lock washer, and hex nut. Next, place the L-shaped bracket up to the unsecured end of the brace bracket. Secure the L-shaped bracket using an 8mm flat washer, lock washer, and hex nut. Finish securing the L-shaped bracket to the front driver side mounting bracket using an 8mm hex bolt and flat washer through one side and an 8mm flat washer, lock washer, and hex nut on the other side. Locate the rear driver side mounting holes. Insert a double bolt plate in through the large oval access hole using a plastic bolt retainer on the studs of the bolt plate to hold it in place. Place the upper rear mounting bracket onto the vehicle and secure with two 10mm flat washers, lock washers, and hex nuts. Place the lower rear mounting bracket up to the upper rear mounting bracket and over the threaded bolts. Secure with two 10mm flat washers, lock washers, and hex nuts here as well. Remove the two hole plugs along the rocker panel. Insert an 80mm tab T-bolt into the mounting holes using plastic bolt retainers to hold the T-bolts in place. Place the brace bracket onto the vehicle and secure one end with an 8mm flat washer, lock washer, and hex nut. Place the L-shaped bracket up to the unsecured end of the brace bracket. Secure with an 8mm flat washer, lock washer, and hex nut. Finish securing the L-shaped bracket to the mounting bracket using an 8mm hex bolt and flat washer through one side, and an 8mm flat washer, lock washer, and hex nut on the other side. Remove the 8mm nuts, 8mm lock washers, and 8mm flat washers from the running board. Place the running board onto the brackets and align the 8mm bolts with the slots in the brackets on the vehicle. Attach the running boards to the brackets using six previously removed 8mm flat washers, lock washers, and nuts. Snug the hardware, but do not fully tighten at this time to allow for adjustments. Adjust and level the running board, centering it between the front and rear wheel wells. 
With the running boards in position, it is recommended to tighten all brackets to the vehicle first, followed by the running board connections. Repeat this entire process on the passenger side. Remember to do periodic inspections to make sure that all hardware is secure and tight. To protect your investment, we recommend you apply a layer of non-abrasive wax. Congratulations on the installation of your brand new Ares AeroTread running boards.